All history can be horrible, but in the ancient days of Roman Emperor Commodus, it was horriblest of all. That's the statue of Commodus over there, a cruel man. Our story starts in Dacia, where the Dacians dig up gold for ruthless Roman rulers. The peasants are revolting. Well, they usually are. The Roman army sent in their 5th legion just to sort the rebels out. Loyal and devoted is the motto of these men. Their leader is Lucius Gladius, or Gladius the Glorious, as he likes his men to call him. Disaster stripes. The leader, Lucius, hurts his leg. Oh, he's not so Gladius now. His horses run away, which is the wisest thing to do. If the Dacians capture Lucius, why they'll kill him? What can this noble Roman general do? Fight on to the death? Uh, no. He'll hide and hope that no one finds him. Lucius slips into the darkness of a Dacian hut. He's safe for now, until he looks up. Then he sees two bright eyes staring back at him. In the darkness, Lucius sees the strange eyes of a frightened child. He looks at child, child looks at him. They both look at each other. It's hard to say who's frozen most with fear. A deadly Dacian warrior bursts into the hut. His eyes are not used to the dark, and Lucius hasn't moved. So the Dacian fails to see the Roman. Phew! Lucius, saved! And all thanks to the luck of seeing that child. The Romans win the battle in the end, and then they rescue leader Lucius. Back to Rome. But Lucius has to take that child, a boy called Rasmus. For Rasmus has brought him luck. From now on, that sad boy will be the slave of Lucius Gladius. Lucius calls him Lucky Lad. The years pass by, as most years do, and little Rasmus has made his home in Rome. Lucius Gladius thinks it's time that he retired before his luck runs out, sort of loyal and devoted, till I hurt me leg in Dacia. Of course he will be bored if he just gives up work, and so he starts a school for gladiators, and he decides it would be fun to let young Rasmus train as one. The slave boy has no choice. The thing is, Rasmus is Lucius's lucky lad, so Rasmus can do the training, but he never must get hurt. He can win the prizes, but not risk a gruesome gladiator end. Rasmus agrees to follow with his master's plan, but little does old Lucius know his lucky lad has his own reasons why he plays those ruthless Roman games. Rasmus fights, but freedom is his aim.
Oh! <laughs> 